Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is a little project I have to share with you today. It's this gorgeous little box, uh, very Mediterranean oranges, and you can just see it opens up really easy. And then, of course, because there's a camera, it doesn't want to go back on. There we go, back on it goes. So let me show you how I made it. We've made these before. They are super easy to make. I love them. They're just so great. These sort of hold some lovely little round soaps, anything like that. Beautiful little gift. So this one here uses garden green and peach pie. Doing, using the same paper. This paper is Mediterranean Blooms. Absolutely gorgeous paper in the new catalogue. So I'm going to start off with my lid. My lid here measures 5 and 1 16th by 5 and 1 16th. And we're going to score at one inch on all sides. Okay. There we go. And then I've got for my base, this piece measures 7 by 7. And we're going to score with 2 inches on all sides. So 2 inches twist. Two inches and two inches. Okay, and that's all the scoring we need to do. So now I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to burnish and fold on all of those score lines quickly. Do the same for the lid. This is when a good bone fold is invaluable. Okay, now it's time to do some cutting. So we put both of our squares down like that, bring in our scissors, and you are going to cut along the score line here, up to the score line, up to the first score line. And you're going to do this in all four corners. Struggling to see with all my lights and the light colored cardstock. And that way, if you release all of these little, these four flaps. Now, you just want to give these a little mitre cut, a little cut an angle, just like that. Just take out this little bit and the same there. And then you just want to reduce this down by about a third, like that. So you're going to do the same for all four of your tabs. So let's do this quickly. Now the reason to do this is just helps the box fold together more easily. And the reason we reduce in length is that's no when the tabs fold in to make your box, nothing will be overlapping and cause a unsightly bulges. So I think I've got glue on my scissors, nothing new there. Okay, so that's what your base should look like. Okay, move that aside, now let's work on the lid. I'm going to do the same, cut up to the score line, along the score line, for all four of these tabs. We don't need to cut anything away because these tabs are so small. We're just going to give it a little bit of a, all we're going to do is that little bit of angle cut that we did before. So your tab will look like that. Okay. Vous comprenez, mes amis? Okay. Let's see. And we'll do this all four sides. I said I've got glue on my scissors. I really need to degunk them. Well, it's for another day, I think. So there we go. So now get rid of all those pieces. Move our scissors aside. And I'm going to put our design sheet paper down before I make up our box. So this is the same pattern, same um, collection, just a different pattern, I should say. And 
I'm going to use this side. I like the florals better, personally. But you can use whatever floats your boat. Stick that down. And the reason I'm doing this before we do anything else is that it's just easier. Um, now, the measurements for all of this box will be on the blog post on my website. And you can find the link to that in the description box below. You'll also find there all my social media links. Um, I have a Facebook group where I host um, fortnightly challenges and we encourage people to share their creations and inspire each other. So do check that out. I also host there a monthly online car club. If you're interested, you can find all the details for that on my website. And if you're in the Lincoln area in the UK, then you're in luck because I host a monthly online car club as well in person in North Lincoln. So do come and join us. We'd love to have you. Okay, all our paper is down. Time to assemble our box. I'm just going to put glue on these four little tabs. So there we go. And then all you're going to do is bring your tab underneath to meet your wall and just make sure that the corner is nicely squared off. Okay, so just bring it in underneath to meet the side and make sure that corner is nicely squared off. Okay, and just give it a pinch. It will help your glue to take. So bring this underneath. Just make sure. And the re re one of the reasons I use wet glue, people have asked, is it just gives you a little bit of wriggle room to get everything nicely squared off. Just like that. So there's your lid. Let's do the same for the base. So some nice glue here on all four of these outside tabs. Let's see if I've got glue on my craft sheet yet again. <sighs> okay, let's do the same as before. Bring it in. And this is when you can see why we reduced our tabs so that nothing is overlapping here and causing it to be bulky and then we're going to do the same here just bring these in make sure it's nice and squared on the corners just pinch that just like that and if we measure properly, there we go, there's our lid. Isn't that cute? So let's set the sign, do some decoration. So let's do some stamping. Sorry about that. Scrap piece here of basic white cardstock. I'm going to use this stamp set called Labeled with Love. I'm going to use Happy Birthday. Garden Green Ink. And then just down, hold. Lovely. Close that up, set that aside, don't need that. And then I'm going to use some of my punches. You can use any of the circle dies. This is a one and a half inch punch. This I don't think is available anymore, unfortunately. But I do love my punches. They're so good for quick crafting. And this one is available still, the one and three quarter inch punch. Now I can use either Garden Green or Lemon Lolly. I don't know if I have told you that was the colour there. Lemon Lolly. I think I'm going to use Garden Green again. Punch out a piece of that. And I'm going to stick one to the other quickly. One thing. This is just going to be on the front of our box. So I'm going to use some dimensionals. Pointing some, that's just the edges there. Okay. And 
Jones. I'm just going to put this down just in the center of that, like that. Now I've used some little white diagonal trim ribbon to make a bow. It didn't force you to see me struggling to make a bow. I'm going to stick this down here just with some blue dots. I'm going to put that there in the corner. And then I have some of our rhinestones here. And I'm just going to use the smaller one here. Come here. Come here. Oh, well, he doesn't want to find any home on my project, but if it's going to. There we go. So there are our two boxes. I hope you like that. Um, as I said, if you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. So thank you again, and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.